Today I'm going to be sharing some photos I made with my Polaroid SX70 and this video is going to turn out very different than I had originally planned it to be but I'm just going to have to go with it. But first I'm going to take a second to pay some bills and thank our sponsor today which is Squarespace. If you're a photographer you need a website and Squarespace is the best all-in-one platform to get everything set up. You can get your domain, you can sell your prints online, you can show off your portfolio, everything you need is there and it's super easy to use. So if you want to try it out, you can get a free trial at squarespace.com and when you're ready to get signed up, I can get 10% off your first purchase if you sign up going to squarespace.com slash mattday. So recently I took a walk in town in the snow with my Pentax 67 and I kind of made a little video out of it and the response to that video was actually really positive and you guys really enjoyed that kind of format, just walking and shooting and kind of talking through my thoughts. So I figured I would do something similar to that only using my Polaroid SX70 because I just got this back from Brooklyn Film Camera uh, a few weeks ago. I went to shoot with it and whenever I opened it up, I pulled on the viewfinder as you would when you open this camera and uh, completely rip the viewfinder off. I have never seen that happen before, but it happened to me. So I had to send it out for repair and I had a new viewfinder put on it and I was really excited to shoot with it. So I figured I would do something kind of similar. Uh, I left the house with just one pack of film and I figured I would just walk, shoot all eight photos and then share all the photos with you guys, uh, the good and the bad. And uh, unfortunately, some things kind of changed a little bit. Originally, my plan was to walk around town. And as I was driving into town, I thought, you know, I want to do something a little different. So I decided to go to Buzzard's Roost. This is a nature preserve here in Chillicothe. And uh, I hadn't been there in a couple years. I thought it would be fun to kind of change things up. And, you know, since I hadn't been there in a while, I was pretty excited to check it out. So I ended up going there, and that's sort of when things just started to fall apart. Once I got out of the car and started walking, I realized I'm at a pretty high elevation, and it's a pretty windy day. So I'm just filming with the GoPro, and the built-in mic on the GoPro is just not ideal for, you know, walking around with really windy conditions. And uh, I went ahead and just thought, you know, I would go for it anyway and just see how it turned out. And pretty much all of the footage of me actually talking to the camera, it's like all unusable because the wind was so bad. So that was number one. Then I realized I've probably gotten a little bit too late of a start to go out and shoot. Um, I wasn't planning on doing the video that day. I was planning on doing it in the evening. But then I thought, you know, it's actually kind of warm out today and I really want to take advantage of this. So I left the house uh, pretty late in the day. The light was already kind of starting to fade a little bit by the time I got out there. And with the SX-70, that film was pretty slow and uh, it doesn't really have a very fast lens on it. So my shutter speeds were going to be pretty slow and shooting handheld in my recovery, I'm getting better in terms of like my stability and like shooting really slow shutter speeds handheld. Um, but you know, I like to focus really close with the SX-70 because it's like one instant camera that actually allows me to get close. So I tend to shoot things pretty close with that camera and whenever you're focusing really close on something and you're shooting a slow shutter speed, um, any camera movement just becomes even more pronounced because your subject is so close to the lens that it becomes more obvious. If you're shooting like a landscape really far in the distance, that you know movement doesn't really show up as much in the frame. So uh, that was gonna be kind of limiting in terms of what I could shoot. I had to kind of pick and choose in terms of you know where the best light was, but I was still able to make you know a couple photos up close that I was happy with, but it just, kind of limited me just a little bit. As I'm walking through Buzzard's Roost, I'm trying to get to this main vantage point where there's a big cliffside and it overlooks the river in the distance. And uh, as I'm kind of walking along, I'm just filming different stuff of the scenery. And again, I'm not really dressed appropriately for Buzzard's Roost because I was planning on just walking around town whenever I left the house. So I'm just wearing regular clothes and some old worn out skate shoes. And we just had a ton of snow that had just melted. So everywhere you step, you're in mud, uh, really soft mud, because it was pretty warm that day. So I'm walking along the trail and I'm filming things off to the side and I'm kind of on this muddy bank. It's not a steep bank, but it's still, there's a little bit of a slope there. And as I'm walking and filming, I completely just slid out in the mud, just straight onto my back. I had my SX-70 in my left hand, so it went down in the mud because I went to catch myself. 
and uh, of course right after I get it back from being repaired and so my entire backside is just covered in mud. I don't have anything to clean myself off with because again I wasn't planning on going to Buzzard's Roost, I was just planning to walk around town so I'm in this nature preserve completely by myself, surrounded only by nature, and I'm just scraping my ass up against this tree trying to scrape the mud off of me like some kind of wild animal. And at this point, I'm just laughing hysterically because of just what this scene has to look like. No one else was around, um, I'm sure of that, because if someone could see me at all, they would be laughing too. Um, but I'm just, at this point, all I can do is laugh. And uh, so after I kind of scraped myself up and, uh, you know, cleaned myself off as best as I could, I uh, went ahead and just kept walking and went to uh, the cliffside that I was really, you know, going there for. So I get to the spot, I take my SX-70 out, and I go to shoot a photo of this vantage point. And as I'm shooting this photo with my muddy SX-70, I have my left hand right here, and my index finger is kind of pushing in a little bit on this, uh, like the leather basically bellows. Um, which isn't ideal. I didn't realize I was doing that. I think I was so focused on like keeping it steady because the light was getting lower and lower that when I went to take the photo, I felt the mirror like drop and press against my uh, index finger. And I thought, I just ruined that exposure because I basically locked this thing up mid exposure. And so I just wasted a frame basically. So I moved my hand out of the way as fast as I could and you know the picture ejected and I just thought okay well I ruined that so I'm gonna go ahead and take another photo and uh, whenever you know I couldn't just wait and see how it developed and see how it turned out first because this film takes forever <laughs> to develop so I went ahead shot a second frame and uh, turns out by the time I got home and I realized um, I don't think the shutter had actually opened yet whenever I blocked the mirror I think it Maybe, I don't think it had already taken the photo. I think it was before the shutter actually opened. So uh, I ended up with two like identical photos of the same thing. So two photos out of eight photos in a pack and uh, you know, I got a duplicate out of it. So awesome. I finished the last two photos of the pack on this tree up there at Buzzard's Roost. Um, it's right by that same spot and it just has these exposed roots and these big branches that kind of reach out over top of, you know, that cliffside. And every time I go there, I always shoot some photos of it. It's just a really cool spot. So I shot the last two photos up there and then I hiked it back to the car because it was getting pretty dark at that point. I knew I had a pretty decent walk to get back to the car and I was out of film anyway, so it was time to go. So clearly this whole little photo walk video just didn't turn out at all like I had planned it to. I, I had planned to have this nice little contained video of me just out in the woods walking around shooting and I had to basically just, you know, toss that whole idea out. And I thought about just scrapping the footage and moving on to do something different and maybe sharing the photos on Instagram or something. Um, but you know, I thought it was still nice to get out of the house. It was still nice to just go take a quiet walk. Um, it was great to just laugh hysterically in the middle of the woods by myself. Um, if you've never done that before, I highly recommend it. That was great. Um, but you know, more than anything, it was just good to get out and making, you know, get out and make photos. That's one thing with this channel I try to do more than anything is to just encourage people to get out and shoot no matter what it is you're doing. That's that's what it's all about. That's why we do this. So um, I decided to just kind of scrap everything together and, and present it this way, the best way that I could, I guess. And, you know, hopefully it's something that you guys would enjoy. You know, hopefully it just shows that things aren't going to go as planned. You're inevitably going to have stuff come up and it's not going to work out. But if you're just out there shooting anyway, that's kind of, that's what it's all about. So, uh, you know, I guess one positive out of this is I have two photos of the same thing. So, uh, one of these photos I'm going to give away. Uh, I just figure maybe that can be the one main positive out of this whole situation is that someone gets a free Polaroid from me. So, uh, all you have to do to, to be, you know, entered to win that is just leave a comment on this video it can be anything at all and I'll say next week uh, one week from today I will pin that comment and reply to it to let you know you've won it and then I'll just have you email me your address and I'll send you a Polaroid so 
that can be the one uh, <laughs> the one shining light in this in this you know whole situation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it encouraged you to get out there and shoot, and I hope you got a good laugh out of me falling on my ass. So. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.